All right, we're out to get so. I'm here with Mr. Chateau, the legend himself, and we are just gonna do a quick like day review for you for how like today's games actually just went. Uh, so this was day one of the World Championship of Warhammer. At the end of the day one, your boy is one and one, and your other boy is two for two. Atta boy, what a chat. So we played our first two games today. Um, just real quick, I'm gonna give you kind of a rundown of how my games went. Uh, I'll do like the full review after the tournament is done, so you guys will get all the details later. But basically, because of the video I did this morning telling you like how I prep, how I prepare for a, say a layout, like we didn't know the person we were playing in the first game or the second game until like maybe 20 minutes before the game started. So how did I prep for playing a GW7? Well, so I showed you the, all the TTS, exactly how I would know I need to deploy and how I would deploy maybe slightly differently based off of which army I was playing. And that's about the only the prep, that's the prep that you could do. Like a lot of times you don't have the ability to prep more than that. So, um, was my preparations and was my interpretations of how I should deploy my army correct? 100%. Uh, wouldn't want to change anything in the world. Round one, I played against um, Brian Jones, who's, I think he's the best Imperial Knights player in the world. Not Probably, well, yeah. He's one of the, uh, he he's one of the least, guys. He at least number one US. Yeah, so I beat him. Um, my army does counter his army. On GW7, the map that we, did, that we played on, his army counters mine. So I'm actually really happy with how that went. Um, it was a good game, ended up winning, I think, maybe 15 points, but super solid guy, loved playing against Brian. Uh, I'll give, like, the breakdown later, because there were a lot of details to actually talk about in that one. And then my second round, I played against Mark, oh, crud, I can't remember his last name, but he was a legend. The guy's awesome, big fan of him. He plays out of Virginia. Uh, sorry, Mark, I'm gonna, I'll make sure I get your last name in for the, uh, for the, for the main review. And he was running a Gladius list. Now, a quick lesson that I learned was I underestimated his list. And because I underestimated his list, I put myself in a position that if I whiffed, I could get screwed. Now, I gave myself a lot of redundancies to not whiff, but he just made some saves. And since he made a bunch of saves, I ended up having to crawl my way back from a 30-point deficit in turn three, which I did, mind you, and I ended up losing the game by two points. So I'm actually really proud with the way that I played. Um, but what happened is when I looked at his list, I didn't understand his list. I thought his list just was kind of bad, to be honest with you. Um, it was double land raider redeemer. It was a unit of six dev sends, and they had the grab guns. I thought grab guns would suck. Stupidly, in my brain, I wasn't accounting for the fact that it's Gladius, so he could advance and shoot them. So he got the tw he got the ten inch move with them because he rolled the six for the advance, and then he got the AP two on the grab guns with ignore cover, and he blows up three tanks with that one unit in one turn. Is would you say that that is because you are so used to playing all infantry that you didn't account for the fact that they were anti-vehicle? So there's a good part of that, but another part of it was me just thinking, oh, it's AP1, I'm going to be in cover yeah. everywhere. But then he goes, plus one AP, and it ignores cover, and that completely skewed yep. my entire opinion yep. of it. So I need to pay a little bit more attention to the list that I'm playing. That's the lesson that I take away from today. But the guy was awesome. If I was going to lose, I, I'm, I'm happy I, I had a, a loss to him. Uh, it was a really, really close game, went back and back. So that's the lesson I took away from today. Anything you took away from today? Uh, Besides that you're just a fucking man? Mm, <laughs> built different. Yes. <laughs> um, no, I think I think today is a good lesson for me. I haven't looked at how Richard Siegler has been doing on these layouts because yep. he has a very different list than mine. Yep. His list is built very much for the open GW table. Shetel's playing Admech for those of you guys who don't know. My list is specifically made for the fact that we might get layout seven. Okay. And today was double layout seven. Which is so this is a good day for you. Yeah. Okay. Um and that basically made it so that both my opponents just couldn't play the game against me. It was the ritual in the turn one. My opponent summoned one objective and scored ten primary. Right. That game. Um and that's because your army uh, yeah, like, I'm just, you jail, I'm just like right? everywhere. You just run in the face. Yeah, can't move, layout, layout seven. You know, the map is like this. There is that line. Yeah. that's all you can shoot. That diagonal line right there. Brutal. Um, game two was against guard. Um, Same thing, basically. Yeah, he just couldn't expose anything. Um, and whatever he could expose, because I went first, he had to put something forward to right. unstick in the middle. And then you just kill whatever shows up, and then just keep him there. He scored three points every turn, except for the loss, because he went second. So would you say that your, your lesson for today was really that when you make a game plan for your army, you play that game plan, and yeah, it works. Yeah, and it just works. As long as you have the correct game plan for your army, as yeah. long as you do that game plan, it doesn't matter what the other person does. 
if they can't counter your game plan. Yeah, I mean, right. you have to yeah. alter it a little bit depending on who you face. Right. But I mean, like, if you build a plan for the event and the layouts that you might get, right. we didn't know, right? We didn't know what layouts we were going to get until I, I yesterday. I might have just gotten blown out. we getting screwed on that, right? But, you know, the list is fine going first, yep. loves going second, um, and it's good on the hard to shoot map. Yep. Because a lot of people were like, oh, crap, it's, it's, it's layout seven. It's going to be horrible against melee and whatever. And I have both. I can yeah. sit. I can sit in that diagonal angle and just kill whatever comes on that middle objective. Definitely. And just like put shit on his objective every turn. So let's. So we're gonna wrap this one up because I don't want to, these videos to take too long out of your guys' time. But we are basically the two takeaways is when you look at someone's list, if it's a little different and it just doesn't look good, think again. Look at it again. Make sure you actually respect these things. Because honestly, that, that's that's I think that's that's end, ends up why I, I lost is I just didn't respect his list the way I should have. Um, even though there's there's a there's a big whiff, like I could have just planned differently for the, that whiff to not happen, right? So that, like the video we had earlier this week on on how to make your own luck, I could have made my own luck, and and I just didn't because I didn't have the correct respect for the list. And then the second lesson is that when you make a freaking game plan for your army, just do that game plan, like yep. just, just stick with it. Just it, just autopilot. Don't yeah, doubt it. Do it. Don't deviate. Don't like panic and was like oh i, I should really re oh no i went first am i screwed no just do the game plan yes and uh with that guys i think we're gonna sign off tonight this was day one i'm freaking pumped for day two day two tomorrow um i'm probably gonna do a little catch-up video with you guys in the morning showing like how i would practice the deployment for tomorrow's layouts as well and in the morning and then we'll do another catch-up like this oh well. yeah let's hit the pub Shadows, crumpers